Matt, you're up. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, we have three cases this evening from the City of Ella. So the first one is a commitment lease permit request by Fairway Independent Mortgage. The property is located at 201 Woodrow Wilson Drive. This is at the southeast corner of Slater and Woodrow Wilson. It is directly across from the South Road Medical <coughs> Center. Um, zoning map on the screen and also in your packet shows the abundance of RP zoning in the area. The applicants requesting conditional use approval of a financial institution in the form of a mortgage origination services office in RP zoning. Character area for this area is institutional activity center. Um, that is because of the presence of South Georgia Medical Center across the street and many of the related uses around the perimeter. Aerial imagery shows you the rooftops of the subject property and um, the buildings around, including the hospital complex to the north. Um, and what used to be a neighborhood to the south um, that still has some residential uses, but is becoming more and more dominated by institutional and office uses. Um, site sketch in your packet. Um, this represents existing site conditions. The applicant is simply wanting to move into this existing office building, which is a little under 3,000 square feet, um, and share space with another financial related office that is there, making no changes to the site. Um, perhaps some very minor renovations on the inside, but basically just to become a tenant. Subject property, this is from the corner. Um, you see the applicant already has their sign on the marquee, and it's because they started through the business license review process when the conditional use need arose, and they had to call a timeout to go through this public hearing process. Another view of the building, this is an office building. Um, I think a, a residence many, many, many years ago, but that's a different building. But this is also the view from the corner. You see existing parking in the front and wrapping around to the side on the right. That's the park that faces Slater. And then in the back, there are nine additional parking spaces behind the building um, that more than meets the minimum needed based on the square footage for a professional office. Adjacent properties, this is a view looking west down Woodrow Wilson. Um, you see part of the South Georgia Medical Center complex there on the right. This is the eastward view down Woodrow Wilson looking toward Ashley Street. Again, hospital properties on the left. Um, on the right, there's mainly office type uses along Woodrow Wilson. Oh, uh, excuse me, along Woodrow Wilson. And I think I lost communication. There we go. Um, areas around, this is the professional office on property to the west on the other side of Slater. And then to the south, these are some of the existing residential properties that are there, um, some in better condition than others. Um, in your packet, of course, there's other information about the request, um, but staff has found it consistent with the comprehensive plan, consistent with the conditional use review criteria, which are there in your packet. And we are recommending approval subject to two conditions. The first one is approval shall be granted for any form of a financial related office, such as a brokerage or other financial planning or consulting firm, where such professional services are rendered. Number two, conditional use approval shall expire after two years from the date of approval if no business license application for this kind of use has been submitted by that date. Does that answer any questions you may have? Thank you. Matt? Any questions for staff? Mr. Chair. Uh, man, I'm just curious, the, 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 uh, the uh, business that currently occupies this location, are <coughs> they working on or see you? They are not. Um, there was, there's a little history to this property. When they came through their business license review process, the business license office categorized them a little bit differently than what the zoning office would have done. There's sort of a fine line in the world of financial institutions. Um, they were considered more of a financial planning consultant, therefore more of a professional office. A mortgage origination services is a little bit more like a brokerage firm. So it's a fine line difference. They both really needed to have the CUP. Um, so that's why the condition number one is worded the way it is. It really takes care of both. Um, the overriding concern with this, which I did not highlight verbally, but it's in your packet, you look at this quarter of Woodrow Wilson, everything's zoned RP, but it really resembles an OP type of land use corridor, particularly with the hospital. If this property were zoned OP, there would be no conditional use required. They would both be permitted uses. Um, the applicant had the choice of either rezoning the property to OP or getting a conditional use. Conditional use was the same process. 
a little less expensive, but the OP zoning would have created an isolated zoning district here, so the conditional use was recommended. I'm just curious because, I mean, both these institutions are kissing cousins, basically. They are. And so you would think that there's some kind of grandfather language put in there to not go pretty soon. The, pre, the other tenant that's there has not been there very long. Um, what, six months? Um, within a year. Yeah. Did they change their license? Their class, when they went through the licensing process, they were classified a little differently. So it did not get the same zoning review that this one did. Yeah. So we called one, and then our research, we realized the one that was there also would have needed it. Um, so rather than have them both go through the process individually, we thought it would be better to recommend approval with a broad range mm -hmm. to include both. Thank you, sir. Any other questions for staff? Then we will open the public hearing portion of this case. Is there anyone here this evening that would like to speak in favor of this case? If so please come forward. State your name and address for the record. Yes, sir. Uh, my name's Chip. Oliver. Live at 4203 Big Oaks. Chip Oliver. Oliver. Uh, live at 4203 Big Oaks Circle. Representing the family. I'm sorry. Oliver. Address again, please. 4203 Big Oaks Circle. Um, I just want to make it clear, I know that we're classified as a financial institution, and technically we are. We do originate and we fund loans, but we're not a depository institution. Uh, we might entertain five products a week. Uh, if market conditions get better, maybe we'll entertain ten. But you know, as of right now, we're roughly around five. Uh, our traffic flow is very minimal. Essentially, most of our operations are done over the phone, over the internet. Um, and you know, I'm here to answer any questions for you guys, but... That's really all we got to say. Any questions, Mr. Alder? Thank you, sir. Is there anyone else here this evening that would like to speak in favor of this case? Anyone else to speak in favor of this case? Is there anyone here that would like to speak against this case? Anyone here that would like to speak against this case? Seeing no one. That will close the public hearing portion of this case. Commissioners, any further comments or questions? Then I will call for a motion. I'll make a motion. In regards to file CU 2024-01, um, I would like to make a motion that we recommend approval for their conditional use permit with the two staff recommendations. Okay, we have a motion to recommend approval by Commissioner. Miller, and a second by, is that you, by Commissioner Bifle. All those in favor of the recommendation to approve? I think that's unanimous, Mark. Okay. 